Alrighty guys, so this is our web build of a uh, prop editor for our Smash game. So um, I only was able to show it to you uh, before uh, inside the Unity project. So, uh, but now I actually want to show you how it works uh, in a browser. So this is a prop that I built earlier that is currently loading so you guys can see that we can actually now load stuff so which is good um, so let's see so here is a little tank there's uh, a star and all of that stuff and uh, I start putting some detail but um, then I start getting late so I'm going to show you hopefully in under five minutes how to make a prop and save it so I just refresh the editor I'm gonna go and say uh, the new prop choose a name I'm gonna say a bar bar stool stool I have no idea how to spell stool alright I guess that will do and I'll say new prop alright so it says name is bar stool so I'm going to st I'm gonna start modifying this really fast so I can move it but I also can just scale it so, so I'm gonna lift it up here and make it a little bit bigger so that way and that way alright perfect so I will create a new piece of geometry D will make a new box I am going to scale that box and then move it so oh by the way I can now change the snapping which is pretty sweet because I can do this um, I can also make it thinner if I want so therefore I'm gonna say add new cube and I'm going to modify this guy to be a thinner geometry and thinner base modify my snap and put that in the center alright so that's pretty sweet uh, by the way there's still no undo or panning in the editor so it's all still very bare bones alright so I'll need one more piece of geometry so I'm gonna hit D again and that's gonna be my base so do this and move that down Alright, perfect. And I guess the last thing I need to do is give it give it a back support. So D another box and Alright. So and it's a good idea so that your geometry does not intersect. So I'm gonna lift that out a little bit this way and that way and that way so if it doesn't intersect it does not um, does not flicker so the computer does not have trouble rendering it alright so my geometry is complete so now I'm going to paint it um, so I'm going to paint it only from one side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say alright so this is a shadow side and that's from where the light is hitting and then maybe that's better okay so now for this I'm gonna say that's that's the light Fix that up a little real quick. And then there. Um, all right, cool. 
cool so and uh, I can go ahead and do that all right so you can see how um, and like right now I'm putting in fake lighting uh, there is really no reason why I need to do it I'm just trying to show you that stuff in here is has uh, you know has dimension um, but in the game uh, there will be lighting so real-time lighting so everything everything's gonna be lit and everything's gonna be pretty um, alrighty so that's uh, That's a prop uh, painting tool. Hope you guys liked it. And uh, I'm going to save it. And just to show you that it worked, I am going to refresh. And now I'm going to say edit. I should load that back into the editor. Ta-da! Done. Alright, that's my demo. Thank you for listening.